Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. The Boxing Bookie is back. He's going to show you how to make some money on Erickson Lubin and Jesus Ramos. This is a good fight to make some money on. Uh, the odds are a little stacked um, in Ramos' favor, but we're going to get into it. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Um, also, uh, Please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show, which is going to be a good one. Um, the Boxing Bookie does not gamble, but he will show you how to make money in every single fight. I use DraftKings as the book for almost all of these. Um, if you're interested, um, go to DraftKings.com. And I can, I'm going to show you the odds. I'm going to walk you through it. I don't gamble. Like I said, I'm in Texas. I can't even get, use DraftKings in Texas. Uh, but if that's what you're interested in, I'm going to show you how to take down the house. Boxing bookmakers don't know anything. They don't know how to handicap fights. I've been absolutely killing it. You can go through my YouTube channel. If you listen to me, you're going to make money. It's that simple. I know way more than the bookie does. I know way more than the odds maker, okay? You can laugh all you want. If you do it and you... Fight after fight, you're going to make a bunch of money. All right, um, it, 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 it's 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 they have no clue what they're looking at. All right, so uh, I'm gonna give you a tip go to Barrios Ugas, go to that video, it's easy to make money on that one. That one's a home run, you can't miss on Barrios and Ugas. Um, all right, let's get into today's uh show. Ramos is a, a, a dog, he's an animal. Um, I, I think he's already probably the best 154 pounder in the world. Now he just needs to go out and prove it. Lubin is, uh, you know, can we stop? But Lubin, Lubin's not that good. He's not off the back foot. He's not a hyper athlete, right? Like he's not, he, he's not hard to hit. He's not a master boxer. He's decent. Um, he's southpaw. Um, it seems like he's got decent power. He, his chin is susceptible to getting hit. I, I think how weakened is over is overrated. He got stopped by two big punchers and, um, you know, I don't think his chin is, is sturdy, but I also don't think it's fragile. I think it's just, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, he's, like I said, he, he's, and he's also way too willing to engage. Like, he doesn't really have an identity as a fighter. He's not a mover. He's not a banger. He's not really even a boxer puncher like Charlo, right? It's really not an identity. I don't know what the hype was with this guy. I'm not saying he's trash. He's not trash. He's a decent fighter. He's not going to do well with Jesus Ramos. He's too willing to bang, right? Ramos is an animal. Um, he's going to break your ribs. He's going to come forward. He works the body. He works the jab. Right? Like Ramos is, if you had a big guy as a junior middleweight, <clears throat> a big, strong Brahma bull, and, and you and, and you just gave him boxing lessons, right? Like that's Ramos. Ramos is, he can fight off the back. He's not what he looks like. He's not just what he looks like. He can come at, come forward, wear you down, maul you. Uh, but he can also sit in the pocket and outbox you. And you go back to the Mendoza fight. And the Mendoza fight is so impressive, right? Because Mendoza destroyed uh, Fandora, who, who destroyed Lubin. Right? And I, I understand the boxing math don't work that way. I fully understand. But Ramos has been stopping everyone else, and, and he outclassed and beat down Mendoza, who only survived because he went into survival mode and held and, you know, you know wanted nothing to do with, with Ramos. Ramos is, I think, the future of boxing. He's the future of the, uh, of the 104-pound division. He'll be a middleweight champ. Like, he's that good. Um, hopefully, one day we get Mendoza and Amo Williams at 160. Um, you know, but right now, I think man, uh, Ramos and uh, is the best guy I'm sorry, Ramos and, and Emma Williams at 160. Oh, that's not what I said. Right now, Ramos, a southpaw, strong as an ox, right? Masterclass skills, uses his jab, works the body, right? Physically a force at 22 years old. 
Uh, he's everything you'd want in a fighter. He's everything you want. You saw what he did to Joey Spencer, and, and they love Joey Spencer, two-time PBC prospect of the kid. Ain't it, man? And, and, and Ramos shows you that. Ramos is cut from an entirely different cloth. I, I, I put Ramos up there with the boots and the birds. It's the best young fighters in the world. Like, he is something else. Uh, and we're going to see that. I, I do think he's going to get the stoppage. Um, I do think he'll wake him down. I think he'll stop him late. Um, I'm going to show you how to make money on, on this fight. Um, I, I think he'll dominate this performance. You know, um, luckily, I, I do think Ramos should get a world title shot after this because I, I think if Charlo wins, he's not going to go back down to 54. If Charlo loses in the main event, he's going to go up to 160. I, I would think. I don't think he's going to go all the way back down to 154 the fight against 60. I think his future is at 60, right? And if he wins at 68, he may stay there and defend all his belts, but we will see. He'll get a catch weight fight or something. I don't know. Um, Okay, let's take a look at the odds for Ramos um, and, uh, and and Erickson Lubin. Okay, so we're not making a ton of money on the fight. L Ramos is the favorite that he's supposed to be. He's a, he's a minus four seventy five. So you got to bet four hundred seventy five dollars to win a hundred. He's a lock. He's going to win this fight. So on the money line, we're going to make it a two times bet. So in this case, we're betting 200. It's going to make you only $42.10. Okay. It's not making a ton of money. What I do like, though, is uh, Ramos is, 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 is fitting to win by stoppage. He's going to stop him. He's going to get KO or TKO. He's going to win this fight. That's paying 185. So a, a one times bet makes you 5405. That's 5405. So 42.10 on the on the stoppage um and $95 uh, $54 on the TKO. You're making $96 off a $300 bet. So basically you you're bringing down the odds um 3 to 1, right? What what is 475 so 4.75 to 1 you're bringing down by hedging it with um this this Ramos bet you're bringing it down to about three to one. And that's pretty good. If I said I gave you three to one odds, Ramos in favor of Lubin, you would take that, right? Like that's a good bet. And that's basically what we're doing. He just has to win by stoppage, which look, um, Ramos finishes strong. Ramos is strong as a bull. Lubin fades. Lubin gets stopped. Lubin gets hit. Lubin is not what he was hyped up to be. I'm not saying he's trash. He's not a trash fighter. He's a decent fighter. He's got decent skills. He's just, this is Ramos. I think is already the best 154. And I think this is a layup. I think, I don't see how Lubin, who's not a runner, makes it to the end of the fight. So um, I, I like this. I, I think this is. I think these odds are pretty good. You know, I, initially I, I thought you know, Ramos would be more in the favor of three, three and a half to one. More than you know, three, three fifty. You know, minus three, three fifty. He wouldn't be this high. But you know, I, they're seeing what I'm seeing, and that this is you know, it's not a mismatch per se, but you know, uh, Ramos is is, is definitely uh, the better fighter, and he's going to win the fight, and he's going to win it by stoppage. But this is how we make money on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bet Ramos to win by TKO, and off a three hundred dollar bet, we're going to make about a hundred bucks. Okay, it's not it's not the best in the world, but again, go watch the Ugas video. Go watch the uh, Charlo Canelo video, and we're going to make some money. Uh, we're going to make some money Saturday night. I'm going to do a video tomorrow on the uh, Jaya Patani fight as well. Um, be a good fight. I think we can make some money on that. I'll show you how to make some money on that as well. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe for our 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Um, also, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's September 28th, 2023 from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.